If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, I've got the documents because in the last segment, we were covering the left saying that it's time to fight for women of all genders, which makes no sense. But that doesn't stop the left from preaching it. So now I have the documents. I don't know why the crew does this to me. All 73 genders right here, whether you're a maverick, a mar fluid, a mask fluid, a malo gender, a schroda gender, a salud gender. I mean, we got everything for you right here. But... I just want you to know that I am fighting for genders of all genders, of all genders here at InfoWars. Now, my next guest, Brandon Tatum, has been with us plenty of times. You're probably familiar with him by now, at the Officer Tatum on Twitter, his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash btcruiser34, former police officer. And I saw Brandon tweet out a picture of himself that was, well, obviously photoshopped, but it was photoshopped by a bunch of haters, a bunch of leftists that want to make him look bad and dehumanize him. So he's hiking up a mountain. I can uh, only assume, I, I, I'm talking to Brandon for the first time now about this, so he'll clarify on air. I can only assume he's, he's hiking right here, carrying an American flag. And so they photoshop a Nazi flag over it and then a, a, I guess, like a little slogan thing that says, white lives matter more, obviously fake. Totally photoshopped, but it's just like the Washington Post saying that Trump supporters are un-American. The left, ha the, the, see, the average leftist it has such a low IQ that they assume everyone else is as ignorant as them, so they think they can actually photoshop something like this and, and get people to buy into it, that, that Brandon Tatum would actually be hauling a Nazi flag around. Although, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, Brandon, I don't know. Maybe this is a real photo, dude. I, 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 you have to disavow this photo. I, I, it could be real. <laughs> I know, man. People are going to be asking me all over the world to disavow this photo. But but in reality, man, I love this country. I'm a proud American, man. And I was hiking up a mountain. It was a very strenuous hike. And I had the American flag because I'm proud. And, and the funny no, no, thing no, no, is... No, 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 no. Look at that flag behind you. That's clearly a Nazi <laughs> flag. Low quality, yeah, yeah, too. They, Not even hand-stitched. Yeah, that's what they wanted. The next, they'll be... Photoshopping this flag, but I mean, this is just an example, and this, this happened to be some African American people who were mad at me because I made a video about, you know, my thoughts on the two guys at Starbucks, and they disagree with me so much that they are willing to Photoshop stuff about Nazis and white people. I mean, it's just ridiculous. This is what we see from the left as hatred and and their 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 way of being hypocritical, and then we also see this from the black community. Um, when you when you become somebody who's informed and enlightened as a black man and you cons consider yourself a conservative and you love this country, there is a segment of black people in the community that literally hate you. They want to see you die. I had some people on there tell me that, that I should just die only because I'm telling the truth about, you know, basic situations that go on in this country. Well, I'm trying to figure it out. Why would they be so upset with you? It's not like you're anti-black. I mean, it's not like you're anti-yourself here. I mean, you're just, you have a political opinion. Is that what it is? They just don't like your politics? Well, I think that's what it is. And, you know, the truth hurts people sometimes. You know, to be honest, if you, if you tell somebody the truth, it may offend them initially. And then some people will come out of it. Some people realize that, you know, facts mean more than their feelings. And then they begin to agree with me. But some people are so brainwashed and so tr entrapped into this tunnel vision that they have that when they hear the truth, if it does not fit their narrative, they literally lose their minds. And I'm going to be quite honest here. I think that some people are brainwashed, and some of it is coupled with, with mental illness. And some people may think I'm playing, but some of these individuals are suffering from various amounts of mental illness, and this is a way that they lash out against other people because they're not getting the treatment and help that they need, to be quite honest. Well, and I wanted to, I'm glad that you went down that road because I do think there's some sort of psychological issue going on here. But I guess my confusion is why would they be so upset with you when you're simply saying, hey, look, you can empower yourself with knowledge, you can empower yourself with truth? I almost wonder if there's not an aspect of laziness to this 
that they're mad at you because you worked hard and you're a proud American and they don't want a black man to be successful so that they can sit back and be lazy and claim a victim status all day long. Well, you know, these are the type of individuals who don't love America. These type of individuals hate white people. I mean, let's just keep it real. Um, um, and these individuals, they don't want to see progress. They don't want to see Martin Luther King's dream become a reality. They will do whatever it takes to, to, to prevent that from happening. And if you dare give them solutions to problems that the Democrats can't give them solutions to, then they become offended, they get mad, they want to lash out because they are literally living and surviving off of the Democratic plantation. And I don't care who they are, what they say, their political views, they are entrapped in the Democratic plantation. And the Democrats are literally feeding them and telling them what to say, what to do, and, and lying to them about the Republicans and conservatives. So when you live in that type of a mindset, I mean, I don't think that it should be this way, but when you live in that type of a mindset, you have no other choice but to either change or to resist the change. Well, I think that's it. That's what I think it is at the bottom of this, because they see you and they say, well, I don't want to work hard to be successful. It's a lot easier for me to just whine and complain and blame everybody else while the Democrats are, are, are keeping me propped up at the same time. So I can be a victim and the Democrats are going to enable me to be a victim. And then if they see someone like you or or it doesn't even matter, it's not that they maybe they hate white people, maybe they don't. They hate anyone that they view as a threat to their victim status. I think that I think that that's what it is, and maybe that is some sort of a mental disorder, like a Stockholm syndrome, that they actually believe the Democrats are out to help them. But what do you do? I mean, if they if they've already reached that point of thinking where they'd rather be angry at you and be a victim than actually build something for themselves and then be your friend, I mean, how do you how do you shake someone out of that? How, how do you fix that? Well, to be quite honest, I'm going to do them like people did me. You know, I was as ignorant and as blind as some of these people are. I would never say some of the stuff that they've said to me, but I was blind as well. But what it's going to take is for somebody to consistently tell the truth, no matter if it hurts your feelings or not. Not pander or do any of those things, but tell the truth. And eventually, there are going to be people who hate me regardless, and they're going to go to the grave hating me. But there's other people that I'm planting seeds in their minds. So after time goes along and the seed get watered, then they begin to open up their understanding and they become uh, people who are, I would say, politically conscious. You know, this is an interesting, deeper philosophy here. The old saying is, you tell a lie a hundred times, it becomes the truth. I mean, this is something the mainstream media has mastered. It's funny, though, how you wonder, will does that work with the truth? Like, if you tell the truth a hundred times, does it eventually become the truth in some people's minds? But I'm not really sure if it does. And I want to, we're about to go to break here in 60 seconds. I want to talk more about the, the Starbucks thing because I didn't even know where this, this derived from, the, uh, the Photoshop picture that they put out of you. I, I just figured it was another just random leftist hateful attack against you. But that's interesting to me how it derives from your response to the Starbucks thing, which I don't even know what your response is. So we'll get that take on the other side. But you're saying, just to be clear, you were hiking in the desert um, with the American flag proudly waving. So it was the American flag that they photoshopped out of this, correct? Uh, yeah, yes, it was, man. I was at Picacho Peak in, in the area near Tucson, Arizona, a beautiful mountain. I hike it all the time, and uh, I was holding the American flag. Wow. And so they, they do, first of all, it's a hack job. Nobody <laughs> would believe this Photoshop is real. And then just to just to make things even more politically charged, they put in the White Lives Matter more thing. It's like, who would even fall for this? Only the most dumbed down, brainwashed individual would even think that's real. And then and then I would imagine it's shocking for Brandon that people actually bought it. But we'll have more of that on the other side. Don't go anywhere. This is the war room. There is the original photo of Brandon Tatum. Look at that. See now that would trigger a leftist right there. A patriot trekking a mountain with an American flag. Beautiful American background with the mountains in Arizona on Veterans Day. Just powerful stuff right there from Brandon Tatum. So naturally, the left had to smear it. Naturally, the left had to come on and take a big dump 
on something like that. I mean, why, how dare Brandon Tatum go hike in the desert of Arizona with an American flag? I mean, how dare he? And then how dare Twitter not censor him? And so that's what the left did. So there's the original. There he is with the American flag. I can tell from the stitching. It's hand-stitched, made in America. We sell it at InfoWarsStore.com. A beautiful picture, and the left has to soil it and then make it a race thing and put a Nazi flag on it. Now, Brandon Tatum is with me here at the Officer Tatum on Twitter, YouTube channel, BT Cruiser 34 I was not aware of the derivative that caused the whole outrage from the left here, but apparently it was over a response that he had to the Starbucks situation. Now, our poll of the day at War Room Show is if, let me get the exact poll, would there be the same media outrage if it were two white people asked to leave Starbucks? And this poll is going for the rest of the week. The Almost 2,000 votes, 92% say no. Now, I don't even know Brandon's take on this, so I'm just going to him right now to get his raw take about what happened. But the story is essentially you had a couple gentlemen that were hanging out in Starbucks. I guess you could say they were loitering or whatever, and they weren't purchasing anything. So Starbucks said, purchase something or you're going to have to leave. And they were eventually escorted out by police. Massive outrage from the left racist in fact now starbucks has decided they're going to shut down their stores right here shut down stores nationwide on may 29th for racial bias education day so if you don't allow 100 black people to go into your store and hang out and not buy anything apparently you're racist now uh but but let's get brandon's take on this because apparently the left was outraged so so what was your take on this brandon and then what was the ensuing reaction well, so I, I'd be very, very basic. Now, I was a police officer six years, went to thousands of calls, well, hundreds of calls like this. I mean, so I knew what it was from the very beginning. It was probably a trespassing issue. Um, the policy in Starbucks is consistent on, in most Starbucks. Some some have it, some don't. But the bottom line is that this individual told them that if they don't purchase anything, they can't use the facility. They refused. The police came. They refused to listen to the police and got arrested. So I think that it's, it's blatantly their fault. That These are a bunch of... Wait a second. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. You're telling me <laughs> that the owner of the establishment said kindly you have to leave, and then you refused, and then the police said kindly you have to leave, and you refused, and then they got arrested? Yeah, yeah, like like that's, I guess it's some... What type of chaotic country is this that we live in? <sighs> I guess we live in a land where the laws don't matter and people's private business rights don't matter. But the bottom line, man, is that it's very simple. All you have to do is follow instructions and don't feel entitled. And I made a video on my YouTube channel that went, it's going viral right now, simply about the same subject matter. And, and, and this is another thing. The commissioner of the Philadelphia Police Department made a, I don't know, like a six-minute video about this. And nobody yeah, he did a whole response. He did a whole response. By the way, he's, he's black. And the sergeant on the scene was black. And then, if you look at the video closely, there's several other black people at this facility. And <laughs> here's the thing. Somebody, somebody corrected it's me on my so YouTube ridiculous. channel because I looked up the zip code, and the zip code showed that there was primarily whites and not a lot of black people. But somebody corrected me and said, hey, I live in this area, and there's tons of black people that go to that Starbucks. It's kind of in the center of town. So what led me to believe is that every day, all day, for the last week, the last month, the last year, Black people have been going in and out of this place, and we have never seen any issues. All of a sudden, two idiots don't want to follow directions. They get arrested appropriately, and now there's some racial outrage. You know, the CEO of Starbucks is a coward, and the real leader is the commissioner of the uh, Philadelphia Police Department. Well, I, I, and I'm just sitting here. I didn't know about the background, too. That's, that's me. See, because you're a foreign police officer. You've actually had response responding to calls like this. I was a college student. I, I remember I was a commuting college student that didn't have a car. I had to use certain outlets that had Internet dozens of times when I was getting through college. And I would hang out. I didn't have a bunch of money. So you go buy a cup of coffee. It's like two, three bucks, and then they don't bother you. So I think that you put it on the head there. It's like an entitlement thing. It's like, how dare you tell me that I can't be here? And of course, the police are going to respond and do their job. But this just, to me, again, it just shows, you know, whether you want to call it Stockholm syndrome or even maybe in some instances, affluenza or there's, there's all this different stuff. But it's, it's really a mental illness. These people, 
they don't operate functionally in the society that we've created. They want some sort of, I don't even know, some communist utopia or something. Well, this is the problem, man. When you when you think all white people are racist, this is what you get out of it. And when I look at the situation, I give both sides the benefit of the doubt. I don't think the woman is bad and she's a racist, and I don't think that they're bad people. So what is the outcome? They have rules, you break the rules, they tell you to leave, you don't leave. You're, you're now breaking the law by loitering and trespassing. By law, they call the police, the police ask you to leave. Three different occasions they ask them to leave kindly, nicely, respectfully, and they refuse to leave. The, the, the end result of all of those math, that mathematical equation is that you get arrested. And the bottom line is that um, Starbucks didn't want to prosecute, so they end up, the police department released them. I don't understand what the outcome has to be. The only way you could come to a conclusion that this was racist is if you're predetermining, which is not right. You're predetermining that the white people are the racist. If you, if you give it a first shake and say, neither side is wrong, and you look at it, you'll find out that, that this is typical and this happens all around the country. I, 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 was, I patrolled a primarily white community. White people got this same treatment all the time. People will call us and say, these people don't need to be in our business. It'll happen to white people just as much as anybody else. So I, and this is what I want to say. I want black people that's watching this or people who will see this, stop feeling like that the world revolves around you. You're not that important. Like, rules are rules. This apply to black people and white people the same. And, and, and I'm, just, I'm just sick of it, man. And, and I made a post, and the outrage from that post was ridiculous. Thousands of replies to my original post to the original video was all hateful and negative. And, and stuff like the picture that you just showed was, was the byproduct of the hatred. And it's ridiculous. Well, and that's the thing, too. They, see, the left just wants to make a racial issue out of everything, even where it doesn't belong and it doesn't exist. And then anytime there's a real you know, racist thing or a real racial issue, you won't even be able to determine what it is because they've soiled the water so much. But again, it all just goes back to the mental illness factor that this is how they've been programmed. This is how they this is how they think. And it's not a healthy train of thought. And so part of the response is they they Photoshop your picture with an American flag into a Nazi flag and they try to demonize you there. I mean, did people I mean, here's a question. Did people actually believe that photo? I mean, did people actually think that was your flag? No, I think I think it was a parody. Um, I think that. People just made that to, to make fun of my views and who I was. I mean, they, I see. they posted pictures. They posted pictures of me cycling. They posted pictures of me um, and a lot of other things that I did. They made fun of the fact that my son is biracial. I mean, they, they did a whole lot of other stuff, which I don't care. These oh, people so they're attacking. Oh, they're attacking your family now too. Oh yeah, they they made fun of that my son is biracial. They try to say I'm a sellout that I'm working for the white man, all because they do not have a legitimate argument against very basic facts that I presented. Well, Brandon, you speak your mind and you speak from the soul, and I think that that is, I mean, that's like kryptonite for these people. That, that's really what it is. Their mind and their soul has been so washed away from their consciousness that the fact that somebody has a soul and a mind and can speak it coherently, it just frightens them so that they, they, they have to ridicule you, they have to threaten you. Well, you're doing great work. Again, follow Brandon Tatum on Twitter, at the Officer Tatum, his YouTube channel, BT Cruiser 34 That's where you can find his video. It's going viral. Share that video everywhere. And, um, Brandon, thank you for joining us today. All right, thank you guys for having me as usual, man. Y'all have a good day. All right, thank you. And, as usual, good stuff from Brandon Tatum. <laughs> I mean, I, I tell you, I, I saw that picture, and it was just like, I mean... <laughs> Nobody, as soon as you become, see, they, they, they act like they care about black people when they want their vote. And then as soon as they find out that they don't have their vote, they don't give a damn. And they tarnish them, they Photoshop pictures of them, they attack them, they threaten them. It's just, this is what the left is. This is, the, the left is the most vile, hateful group in America today. And, and I don't know what we can do to stop them or help them. Roger Stone joins us in the next hour. We're going to open up the phone line, 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244. Phone calls and Roger Stone on the other side. And please support us at InfoWarsStore.com. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance.
Electrify your day with Secret 12. It's like lightning in a bottle. We all have days in which we just can't seem to perform at the level we'd like to. InfoWars Live Secret 12 is designed to naturally energize your body and mind with two great tasting and super high quality forms of vitamin B12. Proper vitamin and nutrient intake is essential to keep your body functioning at optimum levels. The reality is, it's hard to take in the proper amount of vitamins we need each day with our modern diets. Secret 12 by InfoWars Life is an easy way to naturally upgrade your vitamin B12 intake and support your body's natural systems. It pairs two forms of vitamin B12 into one explosive formula. Vitamin B12 supports healthy energy levels through red blood cell formation and aiding in the body's natural processes, but it also assists with many other functions of the body. Electrify your mind and body and take your health to the next level. Experience the power of Secret 12 at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Life.com.